All right, everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and I'm here with Damien from TCJ, The Concealed Journey here in North Dakota. We're doing some shooting today. We're comparing the two different models from Mira Safety, the CM6M and the CM7M gas masks. Which one is better for shooting? Which one is better for administrative tasks? And which one would you want based on the application you're looking for? That's what we try to answer for you here. So we went through a different uh, optic heights to kind of see which one had a better cheek weld and gave us a better field of view when it came to using different optics as well as um, iron sights and different weapon platforms as well, just to kind of give you guys some ideas about what might work better for your particular setup. So one thing I want to mention is that when we were shooting, we found that there was some similarities between each mask, but that one definitely was better for particular uh, function, AKA looking through scopes, looking through red dots and everything else. Whereas the other one would be better for your general purpose application. So first what we'll go through is just talk about each optic uh, that we use and its mount height, and as well as iron sights, and then talk about which gas mask we thought was better for that application. And then we'll just talk about general purpose, what you might want to look for in the sense of choosing one of these two models. So uh, let's go ahead and start. Damien, if you don't mind, um, I think we started with the tall, the skyscraper mount. So what height would that be? This is uh, pretty reminiscent of a 226 height, uh, skyscraper mounts, uh, also known as night vision height. The 193 can also do the night vision, but this is uh, similar in height almost exactly to like a unity tactical riser and that's on a carry handle mount so that's yeah. something you might see on like a more old school ar-15 but that was one of the taller mounts we had so we wanted to tr try that out so when it came to using the cm6m how'd you feel about that mount and that height oh uh, i think these two are made for each other yeah this kind of thing yeah and that's how i felt too so we both shot everything you'll see here as well as we both wore both uh gas masks while we did it it's very yeah. cold here we're trying to make it work yeah um but at the end of the day um we both had some I guess you would say um, uh, similar opinions on some of this. Sure. So I agree. The CM6M is better for the taller mount, but in a way it almost feels like the taller mount was actually for the gas mask more than the gas mask was for it, correct? Yeah. yeah. So I didn't have as many issues with either one, the CM6M or the CM7M on right. that height. Yeah. Um, you had some more issues with the 7M, correct? Yeah, I would, I would say I, I agree with you more so that both of them worked fairly well with this, but I felt like the 6M worked much better with this one than the 7M did because of how high you were away from the comb. I noticed that the filter port on the right side actually started to kick you away from the gun. So as, as we'll describe here with a couple other optic heights, that, that pocket there between the port and the, eye, the, the eyepiece there actually landed a, a, a lot of relief for aiming but with this height specifically I would say the 6M if you're gonna go with the 6M and plan on doing shooting then I'd, I'd recommend looking into something of this variety this does not have a good cheek weld which is why that was beneficial yeah. so if you're gonna use this as your primary gas mask and you'll think you use it in conjunction with your rifle then the taller optic mount is definitely gonna be your friend for sure okay? so let's sure. move on to the next thing we did which was lower third correct yeah lower okay third with the first there. So this is the lower third that we use here. This is clear and safe. And basically this is your standard red dot optic height for most people. Yep. Lower third means that you're gonna have a lower third co-witness with your iron sights when you look through the optic. And basically what we found is that by having the cutout on the cheek weld here on the CM7M, you get a much better um, return to position as well as um, I would say a, a quicker index point. Index point, exactly. Yeah. You'd be able to get back into position faster and pick up your target faster and put the dot where it needed to go. Um, it could happen with the CM6M, but it was very uncomfortable. You have to force your face over very far in order to kind of lay on your buffer tube or on your rifle stock like it's almost like a pillow or something, a very yeah. um, 90 degree angle with your neck, yeah. right? So very uncomfortable, but doable. So at the end of the day, it can be done with this, but if you're running a typical red dot height, which is you know lower third, I would say in most cases, yeah. then you're going to want the CM7M if you're planning on having to use those two in conjunction. Would you agree? Absolutely. Hands okay. Down. Yeah. yeah, and honestly, like this is just us trying to share what we found today with you all so you can try to make a better decision. Either way, these are important things to have. We definitely know why gas masks are important for any prepper inventory. And for mirror safety, what I like is they keep the idea of firearms in mind when they design the masks. So 
you know, honestly, with everything going on in the world right now, this is good stuff to have, but it is expensive. You don't have to buy both just to figure out what's better for you, right. which is the goal of this video. And if you guys do want this stuff, I have links in the description as well as in the pinned comment, so you can check that out and hopefully get yourself better prepared. Really quick here, I did want to share that I got an email from Mira Safety after making this video about the fact that their supplies are dwindling. They're seeing three times the demand on their busiest day during the beginning of the 2020 crisis, and they only have 14 days of inventory on hand if that same demand remains during this whole situation going on overseas right now. So there are links down below in the description as well as in the pinned comment if you're looking to get some of this personal protective equipment to protect yourself from any CBRN threat. And I I definitely advise you to do so now to make sure you can actually get it before it runs out. Just wanted to share this with you really quickly. Thanks for hanging out. But what we did after the lower third was the iron sights, correct? Yep. Okay. In a variety of, of both of these platforms here, uh, while shooting, the AK was without this mount, so. Yep. And we did the AK as well as the AR with iron sights because they do have different uh, cheek welds and they yeah. do just operate a little bit differently. So we wanted to try it out and just kind of see if there was any difference there. Um, what did you find? I mean, they're really difficult, right? This one was super difficult to get into. Yep. With honestly both masks. Uh, this one was tough to get into on the AK. Uh, this may, there, with the AK variants, there's a lot of different stock styles as far as cheek how, how much they how much they drop and, yeah. and the angle of this and everything. With this one specifically, this is a washer 10. Um, not that convenient. Not Honestly, that convenient. it was really difficult to use yeah. any gas mask with that rifle. Yeah, either one, the 6M or the 7M. Now when it came to irons on the AR, this one, it was like, it, it was still difficult with both for sure. Almost impossible. I don't want to say impossible, but it was extremely difficult to do with the 6M. But once again, this this notch in between the right filter port and uh, this eye socket, that that really helped make some relief to be able to get low enough to then use your irons. I I thought that was a huge benefit. It was it was almost impossible with the 6M and you could yep. do it with the 7M. Now I made it work with the 6M, but at a very canted uh, yeah. neck position that was super uncomfortable and it didn't allow me to have good quality follow-up shots and it also right. didn't allow me to uh, return to target if for some reason sure. I was to leave that strange cheek weld I had. So at the end of the day, if I was running this gas mask, um, iron sights are basically out of the question um, for anything you want to rely on. That's just my opinion. I agree. It's tough to get down to it. And the 7M did a good tough. job of it. Yeah. But honestly, Definitely like just better. because we're we're on this whole topic of iron sights right now, yeah. both of them were better with red dots than irons. So if you're planning yeah, on having yeah, yeah. to use a gas mask with a firearm, you're you're gonna need an optic probably. Um, or you sh or it would be preferable, I would assume. Yeah. Right? Yeah. To, to me, that just it made a huge difference, and it definitely would um, be something to consider if you ever think this might be something you have to use in conjunction with the firearm. So yeah. moving on from there, we went to an actual optic, magnified optic, right? Yeah. And this is a 1 to 8 by 28 made by Trijicon, which everything's safe and unloaded on this truck right now. I just wanted to make sure to verify that with you all. But at the end of the day, um, this optic, it, I mean, it's nice and clear. It has great clarity, honestly. Great glass. Um, it actually awesome has a glass. decent eye relief for being a yeah. uh, magnified optic. Absolutely. And it's an LPVO, so it starts at 1X, which means it has the same magnification, which is technically zero. Um, it is a Trijicon, so you never know, right? Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, it basically operates like a red dot at the 1X uh, zoom. And then the further you go up, the less eye relief you have and the more into the optic you have to get. Yep. Um, what I found is that you could, you could use this with either one, but the 7M was a hundred times the preference because oh, yeah. You, especially once you start getting up in magnification, right? Oh yeah. So at one X, when it's kind of like a red dot, not too hard with either one, but the second you start going past two, uh, it becomes a whole different machine, right? Yeah. So if you think, if you're running an LPVO on like your end of the world rifle, like you have a recce rifle set up or something like that, and you think magnification is gonna be important, uh, you you are gonna want the 7M 100% of the time. Uh, it just yeah. it lends to a better cheek weld and better placement for behind an optic. Hands down. And you had the same uh, experience? Absolutely. Where, where it became extremely difficult, like Magic had said, with the 6M is 
as you adjust that magnification up, your eye box gets a little bit more restricted, less forgiving. So you, you have to be in that perfect spot. And because of the visor, you can't get into a notch right. and actually settle into the gun. So it's constantly floating and you're slipping on the edge of the visor every time. So this this one for sure, even at eight power, this was this was way more convenient. And you were shooting really well. Um, yeah. you're, you're hitting that target out there, no problem. Yeah. Um, close up, it didn't make as much of a difference. Sure. If you're on one X and the targets were close, either one kind of did the job. So you at least know you have the ability to still kind of make do. But if you're running a magnified optic and you're trying to decide between one or these, like why, why pick this one? You might as well go this route, sure. right? But we'll talk about that here in a minute because there are some other reasons why this still might be a better option for you depending on your situation. Yeah. Um, I do want to mention we both shaved our beards for this whole situation because we know you guys were going to talk trash about it in the comments and we didn't want to you know, be told we were going to die from any gas that showed up. So <laughs> yeah. here we are without beards. Thanks a lot. You guys did this to us. So peer pressure. It really happened that way. Now, the other thing we tested it out with was actually handguns, okay? So one thing, my handgun is never unloaded and, and safe, so there you go. But basically, at the end of the day, with a handgun, especially if you're running like a red dot optic or something along those lines, this was a kind of a wash. It seemed like either one worked for it very well. And the interesting part of that was the fact that I honestly thought the 6M was going to be the winner when it came to a handgun because it has that big panoramic sure. view, easier yep. um, on the vision. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like it didn't really seem to make a difference to me at least. What did you think? Nah, I didn't notice a difference. Yeah, I mean, with your handgun out and your ability to kind of push everything forward and not really have your gas mask in the way of any kind of uh, field of view, I mean, it was the same. Yeah. It was a wash. So basically say. when you're talking handguns, I mean, either one's gonna work for you, right? Yep. Um, so, and I obviously would, usually have a handgun on me most of the time more so than even a rifle so i thought that was going to be important but at the end of the day I, I, either one would have done the job yeah so um and one thing uh, about the handguns too with the gas masks is that we did notice there was an index point here um when you went to draw and, and then um and you know get into position to shoot you would find yourself actually hitting the filter with your shoulder, yeah. right? So that was one thing that we noticed. It didn't really cause a big problem, but it was something to keep in mind, yeah. right? So you're going, you're going to feel it, and it might restrict your movement a little bit, but it didn't cause a problem to the point where we couldn't hit the target or you know <laughs> shoot quickly. So um, now that we've talked about that, one thing I do want to mention is that between the two, one thing I will say for 100%, and this is very important, Although this is the clear winner of shooting guns with a gas mask, because it's it's better in the sense of versatility. You can go from a magnified optic to a red dot to even iron sights if you had to, and this one can do the job. Whereas this one has some limitations by far. But at the end of the day, that one is very limited as well in the sense of your field of vision and your spatial awareness. When you have it on, you can't see below you, you can't see to the side of you, and it is very difficult. Um, I found myself having to basically just magically find my way around my kit here and yep. try to find my magazines you saw i put a magazine in upside down one time yeah. right okay. dropped some rounds out yep yeah it Absolutely. just it's stuff that happened because i was so limited in my field of view and my spatial awareness was so restricted that i suddenly um, was not operating at 100 percent. so i would say and this is just based on our experience today that if i was gonna have to wear a gas mask and the likelihood of needing a rifle or a handgun was very low this one is definitely better for just basic tasks, right? If I have to get out of my car while running away from a fallout cloud or something like that, right? And change a tire because I got a flat, this is gonna be better for that. Cause I can get down, I can oh, see yeah. better, right? You can use your hands better. I mean, how'd you feel about that when it came to those two? Absolutely. The, I totally agree with you. The, the extra field of view and with this one having complete blockage from your right eye to the left side and your left eye to the right side, you only have an area about this large, like a Venn diagram of overlapping vision. Um, so that, that can definitely have a hindrance on spatial awareness. Now, one thing I did notice that I found this one to be preferable as far as administrative tasks, everyday job, whatever, just going about your business, is the curvature of the shield on this one, this visor. I did notice a little warping in like depth perception in a way. Like I was saying earlier, like it kind of felt like the ground was closer. Yeah. And when you start to get to the, the bottom of the visor, 
it felt like the ground was kind of closer. Had a little bit of a fisheye effect. Yeah, a little basically. bit of a fisheye. Yeah. yeah. So that's something to get used to. I, I, I didn't notice it to be as much of, uh, of an. It wasn't even an issue, but I, I stopped noticing it as much further through the day as you start getting used to it. But I didn't notice any fisheye issues with the 7M here. That makes sense too, because of the size of the lenses. Yeah. And, and these are ballistic rated lenses, so they'll handle some stuff if you're ever finding yourself dealing with like, I don't know, debris or something yeah, after sure. an explosion or who knows what, right? Shrapnel. So yeah. this will protect you. And it's also very cold Slack. out today. And it was interesting how warm they kept us in oh, the sense, yeah. my face was fine, my my eyes, my nose, like I wasn't cold. No trouble. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that's good to know. but. What I'd say, and this is just kind of like final wrap up on thoughts here. Basically, this one will do the job if you have a high red mount, uh, red dot mount, okay? And this one yep. will do the job with like a handgun. You can make it work with other height sights, okay? But this one will do the best job for you with shooting. But if you're all talking around, about- All right, around, all around shooting. All yeah. around shooting, this one's better. But if I had to choose, like let's say I had one for my get home bag at my office or in my truck, and I was just worried about escaping a disaster, and I wasn't gonna have a rifle on me per se, or be in any kind of kit or something like that, then I'd probably go with this one just because I'd be able to see more, which means I might be able to okay. avoid, I don't know, being hit by a car or like yeah. a, a million other things that your peripheral vision is so important for. Yeah. Um, and then at the end of the day, if I had everything set up at home and I had to you know, leave my home in a very combative way because of things that were happening outside of my control, and I knew I was gonna need a rifle in order to level the playing field, then this is the gas mask I'm going to choose. So hopefully this gave you some things to think about. Leave any questions you have in the comments below. And besides that, that's going to be it for Magic Prep. Yeah,